It's been almost 10 years since the release of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, and there is no doubt that fans of the franchise have been missing the familiarity of getting lost in the magical world of Hogwarts. But if the latest rumors are to be believed, fans of the famous landmark may get to visit the grounds far sooner than anyone expected. You see, word has it that HBO has its eyes set on the development of a television series based on the Harry Potter franchise. But is there any truth to this, though? Well, whether or fan of the world-famous school of witchcraft and wizardry, or just need another fantastical series to pass time with, you've come to the right place, as we're about to take a look at everything that we know about the continuation of the Harry Potter franchise. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, as well as hit that post notification bell so you don't miss any more content from us. The truth of the matter. Although the rumor of a Harry Potter television show has been floating around the atmosphere for quite some time now, it does look like the success of shows such as The Mandalorian have given given executives the push that they need to make this rumor a reality. According to sources, a television series fitting this description is actually in early development at HBO Max. It was The Hollywood Reporter that broke the news of this production, stating that executives at the Warner Media back streaming platform have engaged in multiple meetings with potential writers of the show and having the purpose of establishing a core idea for the series. As of right now, only broad ideas have been discussed, so you can think of this as the earliest form of production possible. The the project itself is so early in development that neither HBO nor Warner Brothers have even confirmed it as of yet, mentioning in an official statement that, quote, there's no Harry Potter series in development at the studio or the streaming platform. But since Harry Potter is kind of a cash cow and one of the most valuable pieces of intellectual property under the control of Warner Brothers, it's kind of hard to imagine that this studio isn't foaming at the mouth to be able to use this name to make a few extra bucks. This is especially true considering how horrendous the Fantastic Beast franchise is turning out with the cancellation and eventual firing of Johnny Depp, who was said to portray the role of Gilbert Grindwald once more. Let's just hope that Warner Brothers and HBO Max don't decide to give any writings to J.K. Rowling, as we don't want another stark reminder of how she potentially ruined the franchise with the crimes of Grindelwald. So, although both Warner Brothers and HBO Max have denied all allegations that there is a series in the works, let's just hold on some hope and look at what the series is likely to be like if they do end up greenlighting it. What to expect? The magical world that J.K. Rowling created all those years ago go far beyond the boundaries of Hogwarts, or England in general. According to her own writings, this magical world can be found anywhere that you look, although more often than not it is hidden from the praying eyes of the non-magical, or muggles, if you prefer. This means that her creation is more akin to the likes of J.R.R. Tolkien or C.S. Lewis, who worked incredibly hard to flesh out a world that their later books stemmed from. This means that the magical world in which we find incredible places like Hogwarts and Diagon Alley are just the surface, and can extend far beyond what we already know. It's also possible to stay within these magical spaces that we're familiar with, but to go either forward or backward in time to tell a myriad of different stories that help flesh out the broader world. And it's because of the extreme nature of this world and the various stories that come from it that the fans of the Harry Potter franchise have been thinking that the upcoming action live series is going to be in the form of an anthology of sorts. This would also allow the show to have numerous different writers and explore various ideas and historical events without having to commit to a single one. Fans of Rowling's World of Magic and Wonder just want to know more, after all, which is obvious from the success of Pottermore and Wizarding World. It also needs to be said that an anthology series would create something that appeals to a great number of fans, all of whom want something different from the series in the future. While some want to look into the history of Hogwarts, others want to explore the other wizarding schools that J.K. Rowling has mentioned over the past couple of years. And while most say that you can't please everyone, everybody at once, an anthology series is truly one way in which you could do that. So, if this is indeed the case, and HBO Max is in the processing of developing a series that is bound to tackle a number of different stories coming from the Harry Potter verse and beyond, what other topics can we expect to see more of? The Marauders. Well, an episode centered around the adventures of the Marauders, for example, is sure to make every Harry Potter fan scream in anticipation. We all know that Messers, Mooney, Wormtail, Padfoot, and Prongs got up to quite a bit of mischief in their days, which is precisely why they decided to develop the Marauders map. 
Since we've never heard any in-depth explanation of the deeds of that James, Remus, Cirrus, and Peter got up to when they were younger, it would kind of be exciting to see. And since fans are already pretty familiar to the characters, then this would be a digestible idea to say the least. We also think that this would end up being quite important to the franchise in general, as the only real memories that we've seen of James Potter involve him bullying Severus Snape. As such, the majority of fans ends up seeing him as the bully, or maybe the jock character that Lily fell in love with, which is never the greatest character arc to follow for a strong female character like Harry's mom. In other words, this would be a great way to be able to flesh out the characters of James and Lily, not from Snape's perspective, but just the perspective of a trustworthy narrator. Lastly, it does need to be said that Peter Pettigrew is a member of the group who also deserves to be explored more. Maybe something happened when he was younger to push him closer to the Dark Lord's embrace, but eh, who knows? But it could be explained a lot if tackled. The Origin of the Order of the Phoenix It was in the fifth novel of the movie adaptation that fans were introduced to the Order of the Phoenix, which, to remind you, is a secret organization of witches and wizards that was founded to fight both Voldemort and his army of Death Eaters during the First Wizarding War. We have quite a bit of experience with the Order as it stands while Harry is alive, but we know next to nothing about what the Order got up to when it was founded by young Albus Dumbledore. An episode or more which would be dedicated to the adventures of this secret organization would once more flesh out some beloved characters, ranging from Harry's parents to Dumbledore himself. It also has the added benefit of exploring the magical world during the reign of he who shall not be named. The beginning of Harry Potter franchise painted this time as the worst in the history, with Tom Riddle committing such atrocities that witches and wizards felt all over the world, and they ended up refusing to say his name out of fear. Don't you think it's about time we see some of these terrible deeds for ourselves, along with the incredible order that stopped them? Harry Potter and the Audacious Aura. An anthology series would also allow us to take a peek at what Harry and his friends decided to get up to after graduating from Hogwarts. It's the end of the Deathly Hollows Part 2 that we catch a small glimpse of what they look like, but have no clue what they have made of themselves. There are, of course, other Harry Potter properties which indicate that Harry went on to become an Aura shortly after graduating, while Hermione decided to take a job at the Ministry of Magic after it was rescued from the clutches of the Death Eaters. What fans really want, though, is to see it for themselves. We know that it would probably be next to impossible to get the original cast together, considering how busy their lives are, and the fact that the majority of them are done with portraying the characters that made them famous. But wouldn't it be incredible to see a return for just one episode? Seriously, think about it. Kind of like the appearance of young Luke Skywalker in the season finale of The Mandalorian. It absolutely revitalized the property, which is exactly what the Harry Potter franchise needs. And if this is maybe too much to ask for, and only Daniel Radcliffe is available, we're sure fans would go for a How I Met Your Mother type episode, where he bores his children by telling them a story of the Marauders or the Order of the Phoenix. Now that would be incredible. The Deathly Hallows. Surprisingly enough, one of the most rewatched segments of any Harry Potter film is the section in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, where we're told the story of the three brothers and explanation of what the Deathly Hallows is. And as much as we love this scene and the incredible animation that accompanies the story, we feel like it was gleaned over a bit too quickly. It was nothing more than some much needed exploitation in the film, after all. So what if, for one of the anthology episodes, we were told the full story of the three brothers in as much detail as possible? It might even be possible to keep the entirety of the episode in an animated or claymation style so as to pay homage to the film. Either way, the story itself is an incredible one, and we think that fans would do just about anything to hear more about what became of the most important concepts in the franchise. The creation of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. And last but not least, we have the story of the founders of Hogwarts, which, although explored in some of the Harry Potter games released over the years, was never really truly described in detail throughout any of the films. An episode dedicated to the creation of the school would end up giving the writers the opportunity to sum up the qualities of the different Hogwarts houses and their particular founders, being Godric Gryffindor, Rowena Ravenclaw, Helga Hufflepuff, and Salazar Slytherin. We would also be able to see what happens to make Salazar drift away from the others, which, in our opinion, Opinion, needs to be explored. But what do you think about the continuation of the Harry Potter franchise? Feel free to let us know in the comment section down below, and until next time guys, we'll see you later.